YouTube, YouTube. Welcome to Fishing in the Hood with the Princess. Here we go again. They got my little sidekick over there. If we was, if we was like a a, a, a a duet, like a crime fighter, you, I'd be like Batman. She'll be like Robin. <laughs> <laughs> but don't let her tell it. She's gonna let her tell her version of it. Hey, but well anyway, we over here in Mariana, Florida, man. We finna go over to McCoy's, get us a 50 pound bag of oysters. We finna throw some oysters on the grill. We gonna eat some raw. Now, I'm, this this our version, they tell them, tell them how it go. Tell them how it go with our version. You gonna eat some raw. I'm gonna eat some charcoal, bro. We gonna do some, it's this place inside, uh, right out of Slidell, Louisiana called Acne. Acne's. Acne. They, 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 man, they turned me on to these charcoal bra horses and my cousin Jamie over there in Slidell. Bruh, <laughs> bless you. Thank you. Little sneezy thing. <laughs> Let's spray her down real quick. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So we're going to uh, go get the horses. We're going to put them on the grill. We're going to do them our way. So I want to hear about it. who did the best oysters, who was the first one ever created this, who was the first one ever started it. I don't want to hear all that, man. Everybody we, do it their way. We doing it how we want it. Cooking food is just like a coloring book. Like when you make your spaghetti your way, I make my spaghetti my way. Some people use tomatoes, some use tomatoes. <laughs> no, that's the same thing. The same thing? <laughs> yeah. oh. Well, some people put sugar in their spaghetti, some don't. and some don't. Just like you, you they use prego, I may use ragu. Or some people may make their own sauce. Their own Italian, really. Well, how we get all over here on muscati? Okay, okay, we back on the oysters again. Just, just the hey, look, 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 look at that pointer. Whoa, whoa, that's a six oh, pointer running. Baby, God, dog, it's a six pointer. Look at what I'm doing. That's the second one we start crossing. Man, I, 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 I needed my gun. I would have knocked his antlers off. So when you had to go up here? He back there, he right there in them bushes, right there, little patch of bushes. He put laying down in them bushes. Well, you know what? Back to our oysters. Hey, so we're gonna put them on the grill. We're gonna do them how we like them. We're gonna put our Parmesan cheese on it, our garlic butter, our lemon pepper, our whatever we want to put on it, because we want them, because that's how we like it. So y'all do yours how you like it. But this is how we like it, and it worked for us, and it tastes great. That's right. So that's how it is. That's how cooking is. You don't cook to try to compete with who got the best oxtails, who do the best oxtails, who do the best turkey wings. You cook for man, your taste buds. I, man, I cook for your taste buds. Yup. For my taste buds. And I cook for your taste buds. We cook for our taste buds. We cook for our taste buds. Weezer. Okay. You know, you from the project, we say, Weezer. They be like, where y'all finna go? Man, we sit finna go up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, Anytime you use reason, it got to be two or more. It's a syllable. Okay, conjunction, junction. But anyway, we finna go get the oysters, man. How could something so simple turn out to be so terrible? Stuff mewing. Okay, horrific, horrific. How we get to be so horrific in this little scene? But anyway, my wife always. I'm so you know what? I'm so glad I got great self-esteem. I really is. Okay, well, anyway, we're going to get the horses, man. Y'all stay it's tuned. It's o'clock in the morning. Ain't nothing happening Whew. around here. This is the country, baby. Welcome to the country. Boy, this is McCoy's. This is where they at, boy. I think that man, they're getting them sacked now. Yeah, that's the cooler there. He bringing them out right there. I'm finna show sure get me one. Maybe it was $55 for a 50 pound bag. Yep, look at them dumping in this cooler. I'm finna get me one. Y'all hang on in there. All right, get the oysters. Get up under this carport. And I'm gonna make them do what they do. They're not 50 pounds, they're 35 pound bags. Y'all up in this Mariana area. Right off Interstate 10, y'all come get you some. They good and fresh too, they just came in from Louisiana. Hey, They pre-washed too, so good. Yeah, they good. Good and salty. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's in the Louisiana port. Yes, sir. 
Friday? Yeah. Thank you so much. I All appreciate right. you, man. Hold on, I'll help you turn it over. All right, thank you. All right, you two, you two made it home. Some fresh horses. Look at them. Look how big they are. Man, we gonna have a time with these big old jokes. Yo, look at them. All them huge, nice size. I'm finna open up a. You see, you see it's messy here, Marianne. It's been raining since one o'clock this morning. We gonna let this, uh, I can't grill none on the grill today. But I'm gonna open me a dozen up, man. I got them on ice, they'll be all right for tomorrow. It's supposed to be clear tomorrow. But I gotta open me a dozen up, man, to try them. Y'all hang on in there, watch this. All right, you two got my first ones, man. You gotta get yours, good shuckle. Walmart sell these. You go order them from Amazon. I usually have a glove, but I ain't got no gloves, so I use a little regular, regular little house rag. Pop them jokers open. You heard that pot? Let's see what we got. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Look at that oyster. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. They full of salt water. So you know they fresh. Take out the salt water in them. Oh man, we gotta do that again. This one, he got a lot of little muscles all on them. Just pull them little things on and all. But you gotta get you a shuckle. I'm a little rusty at this. But I get used to it after a while. Pop them open. There we go. Look at them. Look at them. Pop them open like that, man. Lay them out. Man, my granddad used to sit on the porch and pop these things open all day, man. We used to just watch them pop them open all day. People don't do stuff like that no more. People didn't got away from it. And I got, I'm glad I got a little carport. I can sit up on this carport and do what I got to do all day with these things here. And they some big, look at them. They some big juicy ones. I'm gonna open me a dozen of these up and go in the house and sit in front of the TV and watch me a little bit of football. Get me some limes and some hot sauce and go from there. Oh man, them some beautiful oysters. I can't wait to put some on the grill tomorrow. Hey y'all make sure y'all send us some comments, man. Tell me what you think. This one here got two. He got a, it, it's doubled up. Look at that, got a little one on top. Mm. They're so good, they full of sort. I like that. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the hang of it again. I'm a little rusty. Once you get that rhythm right, you got it right. Look at that. Look at that joker, man, full of juice. That's what I'm talking about. We hear you, Lord. You hear that thunder? It gonna rain all day. Whoa. It's that good weather here, man. I'm gonna go in. Make these dust in here. Wow. Wow, beautiful. You see it? Wow, let the, let the people see it. My wife hooked that frame up. That's when we was in Sabruru up in Africa a couple years ago. That's the glare from the light. Yeah. I was talking to the chief, reading a book for him. But look at them oysters. Back to the oysters. She kind of made me do some work in the house today. I'm off today. I'm taking, I'm taking the day off. Sometimes, man, you just got to do what you got to do for you. I just needed this break today, man. I'm tired. I'm just really tired, man. I've been working real hard. I ain't, don't get me wrong. I ain't complaining. 
But brother, when you're tired, you're tired, man. Ain't nothing, you know, just got to chill out. Just got to relax and take a break. Somewhere down the line. You, my, my mom was always say, boy, you can't ride one horse to death. So, somewhere you got to say, you know what? I just got to do me. And just do you and go for yourself. To make a people's, everybody, people want to hear no. People want to hear the word no, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do six more. I bought a 35 pound bag for $55. It wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Ooh -wee. Man, you should be here, man. They taste so good and salty, man. And hey, y'all stay tuned till I finish them up. I'm finna shuck, I'm finna shuck me a dozen. Then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go inside and set them up for you, alright? Y'all stay tuned. Then down, I got 13 I shuck. I like to put a little lime juice on them. Like that right there. They some beauties, ain't they? Can't go wrong with lime juice, I'm telling you. Just let a little lime hit it all over. I like to get my crystal hot sauce. <laughs> Keep it 100. You ain't got crystal, you ain't got yourself nothing. Nothing. Man. See, look there, look there. Some people like saltine crackers with them. I don't, I don't, I just like to take them straight some down. Crackers right there. Nah, I like to take them straight to the head, baby. And you go trusty lemon pepper. I like to put just a little bit on, not on all of them, just a couple of them. Pepper stick it. Just a little bit. You ain't find no pearls. I wish I would have found a pearl, girl. Just a little bit on some of them. And boy, look at him. Oh. Mm. Mm. Man, that's some good eating there, boy. If you're from the country, don't come to the country. And then, they got that little salt water in it. The lemon pepper was pretty good on them. I know some of you probably say, lemon pepper? But you ain't never tried it. Just a little bit. You don't need much. Just a little dab on them. You wait till tomorrow when I put them on the grill. Mm. Want to try my bake? No, thank you. Bro. I like mm. mine cooked. It's going to be hell on your chest. <laughs> mm. Look at that big one. Yeah. Whoa, that's a mongoon. It got seaweed in it. I don't care. <laughs> seaweed good for you. Mm. Oh man, that's good to eat them. Mm. Last but not least, drum roll, please. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 13 down. Oh, then I sucked two down when I was outside sucking them. Well, y'all wait till tomorrow, man. Oh, they so fresh and good. See you real soon. Y'all hang in there, man. You too. Fishing in the hood, baby. I hope y'all ready for this. Got my fire going. I'm finna make some charcoal broad oysters. Y'all hang in there, man. I'm finna shut these down. And we gonna show you how we do them. Some Parmesan cheese and that butter sauce. I'm finna make it right for you. Hang on in there. You see, I got some quite a few shuck already. Look at that. I'm gonna put these on the grill called Choco Brawl. I'm gonna make them do what we wanna do. Some of them hard to open. Like, see how some of them, some of them, I, I, gotta, I gotta beat them. You gotta beat them? Yeah, man. See that? 
someone be taught to pop. <sighs> Shucks. Shucks with the shucking. There we go. There we go. I ain't got no gloves, so I'm trying to be careful. You, you'll mess your hand up opening these things, too. Look at that. Beautiful oysters. Babe, how many do you think you're going to want? Mm, about four or five. I think that's be enough. I'm gonna leave mm -hmm. the rest of these for tomorrow to eat them raw. Let me get a. They some, they some nice ones. Oh, yeah. They some that. nice ones. Have them wait. I want my steak. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on the grill in one minute. Okay, so you know what? Like the ones they. I just want to show y'all. See, that pop open it pretty easy. Some of them will pop open, but some of them got. Two or three of oysters growing on each other, man. They hard to uh, open. I get. I want to show you what my, how I do with my pliers. I get some regular pliers. Like, just say I'm gonna show you just for instant. Get me some regular pliers, and just, I just beat the back of them. This how I do, man. I know somebody gonna say, "Well, you won't do it like that." Okay. Well, you ain't here. They help me open them. I hit the back a couple times like that. You see that little water start leaking out. And I see that blade in there. And blah, blah. See that? Easy. Easy peasy. So that's how you shuck oysters. Look at that. That's enough. I got, what, two dozen? The rest of these here, I'll let it stay here for tomorrow. tomorrow. And uh, when I get through running around tomorrow, I'm going to sit on this I'm gonna sit on this back and I'm going to eat them raw. Raw. Y'all stay tuned. See you in a shuck minute. Them. We got garlic butter. I'll put the fresh lime in here, fresh lemon, lemon pepper. It's gonna go on top of it. I wish I had, I got some fresh parsley too. Okay. There's some parmesan. And I got my parmesan, they're gonna last, last. That daddy, that daddy work is magic, baby. Don't we got parsley? Yeah. Oh, we got parsley flakes. That daddy work is magic. Some garlic powder. Some K John. Make it a little spicy. Spice that thing up a little bit. Let's open that thing up now. Stop playing. There we go. And some parsley flakes. Watch when I do it. And I got the fresh parmesan, they're gonna last. But this is what I'm gonna brush it down with as they cooking. Alright? Now I just put I gotta put it in the microwave and let it melt down. We got our garlic bread going. We got our French toast bread finna go in the oven. I was gonna put them on a the grill, but I ain't got enough room on the grill. So I'm gonna make it do what it do. Put it in the oven, babe. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm gonna put these horses on the grill. Hmm. I don't need it yet. Well, you too, you too, you too. Man, I had to put a couple of porterhouse steaks on this grill too, man. I'm gonna let them cook. I'm gonna put them horses on the other side. We're gonna let it do what it do. See you in a minute. Okay, this is what we got going on. I got them horses. See, I put them on a the grill just like this here. I know some of y'all gonna come out to me talking about cross termination. My steaks is all the way over there. My oysters going on one side of the grill. Trust me, it ain't gonna hurt. I did this so many times. And then I love me. I don't want to get sick. I don't want my my wife to get sick. I don't want anybody to get sick off my cooking. But I want to show y'all something to charcoal brawl. I got a little. Uh, see that pecan wood in there? I cut up fresh onions and they get that scent in there. Go in them steaks. Get that flavor in them steaks, them on your arms. But these oysters, man, gonna blow you away. I ain't joking. Just like this. Just place them on the grill. And I got my butter sauce melting inside. And let them get started bubbling a little bit. Then blaze them with that butter sauce. And man, y'all gonna see some magic, baby. Yeah, that one up a little bit because I don't want to lose all my salt out of them. Just like that. And boy, when they start bubbling, when they start talking to you, you watch when they start talking to you. They start talking to you in Cajun. Look at this real big one. I got like two oysters on that same on the one 
shell. Trying to get all of them on here. Come on, cooperate with daddy. Look at that big one now, man. Wee. I got a couple more. Three more. Come on, baby. You could go. You could do it. This one here, matter of fact, I just dump it on top of another one. So we can just get rid of that shell. Just dump it on top of another one. To get rid of that. My hands clean. I wash my hand. So it's all I got. I got one or two just keep coming after me on everything I do on this channel. But I love you guys, man. You know, I love you. So come on and come. I'm tough skinned. It. I grew up in the projects, baby. I grew up in PSU projects across Lincoln Field on 62nd Street and 20th Avenue in Miami, baby. Bring it on. Ain't nothing you could do to me. But y'all watch this here, man. Watch this magic. I'm gonna close this top and watch when I open back up. Ah, there we go. Man, it rained all day today here, man. It rained since yesterday. Really. Look at my little shorty, shorty. She bringing that butter sauce out. Oh man, don't she look good? Girl, 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 I glaze you. Hey, I glaze you with this butter. I, I, Stop I. it. Oh, okay, it's a, okay, it's a PG show. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much, man. Y'all stay tuned. And y'all watch this here. Y'all watch this magic happen. Watch this magic happen in a minute. I got my thing all in the way. I'm trying to film and cook and do everything, man. A little shorty shorty here, man. I tell you. All right, we cruising. I'm a little five getting hot. So they starting to bubble up a little bit. That's what you want. My little steaks over here on this little side. I don't care what you're doing. As long as that heat get up to 160, it's gonna kill any germ you got. Anybody ever tuck a food hander in class, you, you should learn that. Let it do what it do. Then we'll put that butter sauce on it. And then with my king for my king for chocos. I got my pecan wood and my oak wood over there. Y'all see that? This is my first round of uh salt. Look at that. I got it so full of different man, that butter, garlic, butter, fresh seasoning. Just, I want the cook inside of it while it's cooking down. Just put a little bit on it now. Let that butter and all that fresh parsley and all that seasoning, garlic and all that Cajun sauce cook down in them oysters. Then we're gonna let it do its thing, close it up. Let them come to a good bubble. Then we put that Parmesan cheese on it. Man, what I think be so good make you wanna slap your mama. My mama my shooter, brother. Slap up you on. Make sure you get all of them. And it's gonna cook in them oysters while they cooking. And what you want them to do, you want them to start, you want them to get that bubble. Okay, there we go. Let them do their thing. It's finna get ugly out here. Look at that. It's, it's finna get ugly. Ooh, porterhouses. See how they bubbling? See how I said, give me Tris. Give me Tris. That's what you want. You want all of them to start bubbling. That one that bubbling a little bit. But you want all of them to get that little bubble in there, buddy. Once you get that bubbling, then you got yourself something. You put that Parmesan cheese on it. And boy, look at here. Oh, boy. We got ourselves something, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we got our, we got lift off. Bubbling. Now I want to start putting the Parmesan cheese on them. Just get you a pinch of Parmesan. Nice pinch of Parmesan. And put it on them. I mean, I'm telling you now. <laughs> Boy, you ever been in New Orleans? They got this place called, what is they in? Acne? Acne. Acne over there, right out from Slidell, going up 12. Man, they got the, they, they didn't want to turn me on to this. It's in Covington. It's in Covington? Yeah, I just watched a guy do it. I see, I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna do that myself. And that's how I learned, be learning how to cook. Like I go in restaurants, I could just watch people cook, or I could just taste the food. 
I can know, I know what all they used inside of that stuff. I said, they, okay, they put this in there, they put this in there, they got thyme, they got rosemary. I could just taste stuff and know what's in their food. Then I go home and me and my wife go home, we do, we just go home and duplicate it. Sometimes it come out good, sometimes it don't, but I ain't gonna lie. But most of the time, about 80% come out pretty good, right, babe? Yeah. Hey, you can't do nothing but try. And like you said, it's like a coloring book. It's like a coloring book. We, we, we make stuff for our own taste buds, how we make stuff. And how we do it, look how beautiful they are. That's a thing of art. I'm gonna close make up, let that Parmesan cheese melt down. And boy, then we got a smuggler's board going on. Y'all stay tuned. Them steaks. Them steaks working it, babe. That's how they bubble. Look at that. So they start bubbling. And that cheese bubbling on them. Look at that. That's what you want. You want all them to start getting that little bubble in there. And that cheese start melt down. Well, you got your, you working it then. Look at that. Look at them steaks. Well, look at them jokers there. Bubble, baby, bubble. I ain't going in there. Give me a couple more minutes. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just look at that. Look at that. Oh man, I put some I put, put some barbecue sauce in these two. I just want to try it. See how it's gonna taste. Something different. Might work out. Might be beautiful, right? Oh man. Hello. How you doing? Hi. That cheese bubbling. Look at that joker. Hi. Oh. Taking them off now. Look at that Parmesan cheese on them. I put some barbecue sauce on them too. I just, on three of them. I just want to see how it's gonna taste. Just try something different for a change. That would smell good. I know, right? Man, bro, it's gonna go down. That's all I gotta say. I just started to cook good. And we done. Look at that cheese mountain, Avery. Ooh, cheese. I put a barbecue sauce on a couple of them. I just want to try the barbecue sauce one. A couple of them. And let them steaks burn off a little bit. Look at that. Look at them steaks. See the steaks? They ready to come off too. Can't see that bone come through them like that. But that barbecue sauce is hitting them a little bit in there. Sit these on the table. You just come off the grill, babe. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's say it all. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Right. You try the barbecue one. Try the barbecue one. I should eat the all on barbecue. God, you better try the barbecue. They say oysters is an aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac. Oh, well, then he me. <laughs> you gotta try this. Put the barbecue sauce on it. Bomb. It was bomb. That's bomb. One to ten. One to ten. Be honest. I get the regular ones, an eight. Barbecue, I give them. A ten. Yeah, because it gave it that twang. Mm-hmm. 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 Bomb. 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 Grenade. It's good. You know <laughs> what? Not because we did these, but they're good. Honestly. I want that one. Mm -hmm. All my cheese. Oh, you're a little cheesy, though. 
That one was what, a little crispier? Mm hmm Bomb. Bomb. Mm hmm Okay. You guys gotta try these. Hand Let's try that home, that man. Ain't so, got no something I ain't got I, I wanted to keep it like that. I wanna eat that one raw. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just gotta do stuff. Regular little Parmesan cheese, man. I'm telling you. Little Parmesan cheese if you bought the Win Dixie or Public somewhere. The little butter sauce and stuff you got going on is all gone. Hey, let me tell y'all something. I don't <laughs> eat oysters. I don't eat oysters. I can't tell. But these are good. You do say. You do say. I don't say. <laughs> you do say. <laughs> these are good. Mm. Mm. Good, right? Mm -hmm. You know, imagine you having a party. Mm -hmm. Football time. Mm -hmm. Football games and having parties. Man, these be good to throw in the grill. Just finding them in the big cities. It's hard to find them. But well, we did it. We did our thing, man. Hey, y'all send us some comments. Tell me what you think, man. Just just send me some comments. Uh, give, uh, give me some better suggestions. My wife said she's going to tell y'all how that steak tastes in a minute. Uh, give me some better suggestions. Hey, 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 we don't know everything. We ain't no experts. But you guys stay tuned, man. We love you guys, man. Y'all remember, pray for us. We'll pray for you. You watch God work things out. I got that with them apple chips down in there. Y'all see that this apple, it's some brand. The uh, mixed stuff from uh, you see it over there, the master shelf. Let me show you. I got them soaking in the water, pecan, the pecan, pecan chips, chips, and I also got the blend. I let them soak in the water so they could smoke better, get a better smoke. But well, that's it, that's it. The steak's out. Put them on a the chopping block. We're gonna go inside, chop it up. Hey, you guys tell us what you think, man. If y'all got channels, send us, send us the link to y'all channel. Well, we can subscribe to y'all channel and send you some comments and send you some, some hearts and some love and all that other good stuff, man. Hey, y'all keep me and my wife in prayer. We keep y'all in prayer. Like I said, we ain't just one dimensional. Man, we do all kind of stuff, man. So we always busy, especially we, we, we from Miami to Mariano to the East Coast, to the country, to the city. Man, we be in all kind of stuff. Hey, man. man. How you sweat? Because I was working hard. So I started sweating. And it got good to me, man. I put in some overtime. He had a piece of French bread with it. Yeah, that was pretty good. Boy, look at that steak. Sweet potato. Nice salad. It's over, right, babe? It sure is. Especially after this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do I kind of say anything else? I'm stuck. Her face tell it all. It was delicious. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Shorty. Yeah, that was fun. Thanks. All right, guys. Night, night. <laughs>